hello everyone i welcome you all here and in this video i will be dealing with reading comprehension part and csat series will be complete and this is going to be the last part and here i will share some tips tricks about to solve the reading comprehension for upcoming examination so let's let's begin before beginning we should understand that why rc is being asked in any examination or in this examination specifically it is to test the understanding level of the candidate and to check the evaluatory or evaluation skills the candidate have and have uh, whether or not the candidate have logical judgment is what rc is made for like through rc or through csat these things are being checked in us that's why it is important to understand not for only csat even if you are not attempting rc in csat paper then only then also you have to have some understanding regarding this because when you will be in office or uh, in post like you have to read many reports and many thing and you have to come to the conclusion or understand the crux of the report this way that is why rc is very important not for the exam perspective but for the your professional life as well so we'll uh, again go to the next things like some tips for reading comprehension is the first thing is that read the question first wait huh read the question first before reading the passage reading question first is very important because to understand the what is the is being asked and when we find the crux or some important keywords in the question we can then go to the reading passage and highlighting those so the next question uh, the next tips is like we will all see in while solving the paper just go through once read question carefully as to know what is being asked like what uh, sometimes is gonna what is the assumption of the passage what is interference of the passage what conclusion can be drawn from the passage and what is the author's attitude in this regard these questions uh, can be known only by we when we read the question very carefully and if you if you miss the this points then the answer will be wrong chances of the answer getting wrong is very high so pay attention next is like ki while reading the passage highlight the keywords you have read in the question and then when you will do second reading it will help you like anything okay read twice before marking an answer like we don't be in a hurry while solving reading comprehension we need to be very calm while solving it so just read twice before marking any answer because wrong if it will be wrong then there is negative marking so be very attentive and then eliminate extreme words like never none only cannot etc this is highly wrong and this is proven that this uh, this statements whenever there is uh, this word are in any statement that those statements are wrong so avoid that and also avoid exaggerations like continuously increasing decreasing sharply increasing decreasing unprecedentedly increasing decreasing this kind of statements do you must have come across while solving uh, reading comprehension so avoid this all because this is not correct many a times not all the time but many a times then search for sentences having this is very important logical meaning progressive in nature and have broader picture because the probability of these statements of being correct is very high so search for that uh, now we will solve the question so this is 51 what is asked here uh, yeah, in the above pages what turns as a dizzying piece theek hai okay dizzying piece is, is the keyword we have to find while reading the passage then what according to the above passage depend on political action political action and dizzying piece okay dizzying piece then we will read the question just pause the video and then you will and read uh, along with yourself like reading start huh? history moves faster these days faster than it did when 19th century of american began its climb to world power faster than when gandhi and nehru brought india to independence in the mid 20th century in india 
what were once gradual changes the upswing of economic growth the movement of indians on the countryside to the city the sabotage of old hierarchy to the social of the social order the recognition of india's place and status in the world now turns a dizzying pace see this is the word we have find in the question so dizzying pace okay such historical fast tracking events historical fast tracking events taken india to a point where it is now possible to envisage a real change in the chronic conditions of deprivation and injustice that have long entrapped most indians actually altering those conditions for the better will however require a political judgment and action political action we find here as a momentous Uh, that accomplished by indians founders in the mid 20th century when that a remarkable generation broke into free from an authoritarian and oppressive past and set it forth in pursuit of liberty and democracy see what is being taught here about history about indian independence and some of the point is like some, um, the social evils or social things are being discussed here like condition of deprivation and injustices and all ठीक है एक क्रक्स आइडिया मिल गया देन गो फिर द क्वेश्चन इन द पैसेज व्हाट टर्न्स इनटू डीजिंग स्पेस व्हेन यू विल रीड सेकंड टाइम ना इंडिया स्पेस विद वर्ल्ड दिस स्टेटमेंट इज नॉट करेक्ट इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ नो सोशल मोबिलिटी नो द कोर्स ऑफ हिस्ट्री हैज अ डीजिंग पेस पेस मीन्स इट्स लाइक रिदम तो डीजिंग पेस इज लाइक चेंजिंग द रिदम द कोर्स ऑफ हिस्ट्री वॉट इज इट इट चेंजेस विथ टाइम so this is what is being taught in the said in the uh, in the what passage what according to above passages depend upon political action political action kis time mein bola gaya tha indians fight for freedom no orthodoxy no and social change no while altering the condition of deprivation and justice requires political judgment and political action see this this is the line na altering those conditions conditions of deprivation and injustice requires political judgment and action this is how you should read okay i hope you understood in this statement as well you will read like this only you solve like uh, with yourself huh? will sell next question will solve when, when uh, there is a larger perspective this way which of the following is the most logical rational and crucial message is been see this is what we have learned then we'll read the passage the ability to read and write and perform basic operations with numbers is a necessary foundation and indispensable prerequisite of all future schooling lifelong learnings however various governmental as well as non governmental service in india indicate that we are currently in a learning crisis learning crisis okay a large population of students currently in elementary schools estimated to be over 5 crore in number have not attained foundational literacy okay and numeracy the ability to read basic text and ability to carry out basic addition and subtraction with numerical so what is the message means future kind of thing or the crux is being asked so what is this indian students uh, in elementary school devoid of basic necessities no then non governmental service are more reliable than a uh, government or non governmental service ki to koi baat hi nahi hai to this is also incorrect then more than 5 crore students in indian school this is a very absurd type of uh, statement then if you read the second statement the large number of student at elementary stage in india do not know the foundational literacy or numeracy this is the crux or this is the message the passage is uh, putting forward so this is how you should solve questions okay and solving this one okay choose the correct sound representing skill of writing to develop a skill of writing and what is this read uh, four in interferences theek hai first read the statement and then we'll do vocabulary is the knowledge of words as well as their meaning and meanings 
you need to be a very uh, basic familiarity with words and their meaning to perform the four basic skills of listening speaking reading writing while you can manage the basic vocabulary load to practice the first three skills it is imperative for you to have a good command over the words and their uses to be a skilled writer see this statement is very important skilled writer uh, the skill of writing requires you not only to learn how to use words but also how to use in use in a required context context is important here it is suggested that good speech requires you to use good words and good order good writing on the other hand requires you to learn how to use the best word in the best order okay writing writing pe focus kare kyunki skill of writing was asked to decide in the question huh? to decide on the other uh, order of words you need to be sensitive to context as well as meaning not just meaning see i am highlighting this like when we do in the pen na, while reading twice or the second time coming to the passage the highlighted words will give me an edge and will directly focus on that only theek hai but abhi to mujhe hatana padega so will theek hai this is why we need to master the four skills only to learning words from a dictionary we need to see and hear words in different context literature provides some of the finest context in which words are being used now the following four interfaces are drawn in the passage read them carefully and answer the question see theek hai four lines uh, they are they have extracted extracted from the passage and this is how, on the basis of which we have to answer to be an expert user of language you must improve your vocab okay reading literature is the best way to master a language sensitivity to uh, sensitivity to context makes us better users of language okay right words in right context mark good writing see this is what we have read sensitivity to context and right words in the right context is good mark of good writing we have already highlighted you can see like here hmm good writing on the other hand requires you learn to best words in a best order that is what it is being said now okay and see we have not read uh, uh, this one reading literature is the best way to master language no literature only provides some of the finest context some of the finest not the finest okay there is a difference between the two so we need to learn that only the four statement uh, statement four is right again sensitivity to context makes us better user of a language okay there was a sensitivity to context wala point yeah mm ha uh, to order uh, to decide the order of words you need to be sensitive or to context as well as meaning okay this is the sensitivity to context wala point already already in the passage so statement 3 and state statement 3 and statement 4 is correct language wala wrong to be an expert user of language you must improve your vocab no because in the first initial lines he isne bola tha passage mein bola ki you have to what is what was the line you have to have uh, to know knowledge of words their meaning and meanings you need to have basic familiar words okay it is imperative you to good command over the words their usage bhi hona padega sirf vocab hone se nahi hoga so here what is there statement 1 wrong statement 2 wrong statement 3 right and 4 right so statement 3 and 4 are correct while 1 and 2 are incorrect this is the answer this is where you have to solve i hope you are getting what i am trying to convey okay again which one of the following helps one to develop skill of writing word power no knowledge of context no knowledge of literacy context uh not not necessarily but this statement seems to be right ha huh? but see d number mein sensitivity to meaning bhi hai usage bhi hai context bhi hai this is broader things na this is more logical that's why this is going to be the answer this is the answer okay next question let's read ha huh. voltaire in the above passages tried to capture what kya bolna cha rahe hain Voltaire the greatest French thinker once wrote while we are hunter gatherers roaming the forest in Europe India have some of the world's greatest university which attracted student from all over the civilized world to acquire wisdom 
it does not behoove us today in either to question their antiquity and authenticity so what is being asked see the uh, other options the great intellectual heritage of india since early days the role of university that that shaped modern sciences the supremacy of europe over india this is so wrong first hand he wrong nothing in particular this is also wrong because every word says something not nothing in particular aisa kuch nahi hota here the role of university is not emphasized the intellectual heritage of india is being emphasized in this passage through this passage no answer is one hope you got the point and this is what, what this is how you can solve all the things like if i am solving all the questions na it will be very long the video will become very long last question this 68 and i am done okay the indian constitu uh, what is the thing the issue raised issue raised by the above passage reflects badly on the indian constitution guarantee see constitution guarantee every citizen fundamental right to equality yet after several years of independence the female infant mortality figures literacy rates and employment opportunity for women are sufficient evidence that discrimination exists almost practicability the gender bias is evident in our political system as well see this what is uh, being asked here social uh, what the issue obviously issue is gender issue gender discrimination and in the sphere of political system only no social behavior okay individual behavior no and group of behavior by people no it is a societal level pe hai na pura group of uh, not uh, limited to a particular field no see female infant mortality rate is not limited to any particular society it is prevalent everywhere most of the uh, family or community literacy rate is lower in women in uh, female literacy rate is lower in almost all the community in india almost i am not saying all but almost and there is sufficient discrimination against the women how this is the social this what this indicates this is a social behavior because constitution mein to provide kar diya equality but in society in societal level we have not adapted to that change so that is, this is what the uh, the passage has been trying to say so i hope you all know everything now understood and just practice uh, more and more and you will gradually understand how to correct this uh, you know uh, reading comprehension so for thanks for watching and i am done with my responsibility to uh, solve this cset series so thanks for watching all the very best